Hey guys, welcome to episode number 15 of my horror game tutorial series. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up the save. Um, and we're going to make it so that the ca uh, canvas we set up in the last episode, this canvas save right here, will appear when we interact with the save. So let me show you what we're going to make. If I go into play mode, and then go to the room where, this, uh, where the safe is, uh, is. Now you can see if I look at the desk right here, this is going to be the safe. You can see the interaction icon appears. And if I press E, the canvas will appear. So I will see you in just a second. Hey guys, so now we're inside of the Unity editor. Um, let's start by first disabling the canvas safe right here. So go to the canvas safe in the hierarchy and then click on this little box right here so that the canvas disappears. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is we open our apartment right here and then we go down to the desk and then double click or what you can also do is press F to focus on the object and uh, Unity will zoom in kinda to the object just navigate into this room so that you can see the desk. And now we're going to open up the desk and we can see we have a door one and a door two, right? Uh, oops, door one and door two. Um, now we have to decide which one of these is going to be our safe. I'm going to have door two as my safe. And now if I go into rotation mode right here, you can see the door opens the correct way already, so we don't have to set up anything. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new component, which is going to be a box component. Uh, I, say my, uh, I mean a box collider. And now we have to set up the box collider. So, first of all, we want the Y component to be a lot smaller, let's say 0 0.05. Then we want to adjust the center on the X to around negative 36, around there. Then um, I'm going to bring it up. Okay, so perhaps 0 0.5, then I'm going to make it smaller on the X, so I decrease the size on the S, uh, X axis. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, and now I'm also going to make it a lot taller, uh, around here, and then I'm going to bring it up just a little and then make it smaller again. Okay, that 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 looks uh, good. Okay, so now we have set up the box collider. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to set the layer of this door. So we're going to set it to interactable and then yes, change children. So those uh, of the door graphics and the handle are now uh, interactable. Okay, and um, yeah, so now if I hop into play mode and I walk to the room with the desk, you can see that the interaction icon appears when I look at the desk. So, okay. So now the next thing we are going to do is um, we are going to make the safe UI appear when we interact with the uh, with the safe, right? So the first thing we are going to do is we go back to the door right here to the I mean to the safe door. So apartment. Here's the desk and here's door number one. 
I think I'm also going to call this one save so that we know that this is the save. And then we're going to add a new tag. So add tag, click on this little plus icon right here, call the save. Then we go back to the save and tag it as a save. And then we go into the scripts folder, go to the interact button, uh, to the interact script. And wait for Visual Studio to open up. Which again takes forever. I think this time I'm going to cut this out because this is taking a real long time. Okay, so now Visual Studio has finally opened up after a very long time. So, um, right here where we are checking for all, uh, I mean here, um, where we are checking what we are interacting with, we are going to make a new else if statement, which is going to be hit.collider.compare tag. And we're going to use the save tag that we just made. And now we're going to show the save UI. But since we uh, don't have a script yet, we have to make it. So right click in your scripts folder and we're going to create a new C-sharp script and the C-sharp script is going to be called what the heck this is going to be called save double click to open save then click on reload all and now um, First thing we're going to do, because uh, this script is has the purpose to show our uh, safe UI. Of course, we are ha uh, going to use the Unity engine, um, not editor, engine, dot UI. And then we're going to make a variable, which is going to be a public canvas. And this is going to be our save canvas. And now we might need the void update, but we won't need the void start. Or actually we could use it later on, but for now we're going to uh, delete it. Um, so we're going to need a public void Show save canvas and then in the save can uh, show save canvas uh, method we're going to say save canvas dot enabled is equal to true. And now that I think about it, we actually need to start a method, so we say void start safe canvas dot enabled is equal to false. So we make sure that the safe canvas isn't enabled by default. Okay, and then we go back into the interact script, right? It here, oops, and then where we show the safe UI, we're going to say hit dot collider dot get component safe, and then show safe canvas and a semicolon at the end, and now. If we go back and go to the safe right here, we still have to apply the script. So we're going to apply the script. 
And now the script wants us to put in a save canvas. So we put in a save canvas right here. And we're also going to activate it again because this is important, otherwise the script won't work. So make sure that you tick this box again. And now if I go into play mode, and go back here and press E, you can see the save canvas appears. So now we still have a few problems. The first problem is that we can't see our mouse cursor, right? So we can't uh, put in any numbers. Um, the second problem is that I can still move around and look around. And the third problem is that I have no way to get rid of this uh, screen, uh, of this uh, uh, canvas. So we have to uh, fix that also. But we're going to do this in the next episode because I don't want my episodes to be as long as they were before. So thanks for watching and I hope uh, you learned something. If you have any further questions, just leave a uh, comment in the comment section below. I will answer as soon as I can. And uh, please leave a like and also consider subscribing if you want to keep, uh, if you want to be up to date. So um, yeah, until next time, bye guys.